All right, what's up everybody? This is Core with Core Health Fitness. What we're gonna be learning this week is how to do a handstand push-up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down a handstand push-up step by step, and I'm gonna talk about the different types of muscles that you're gonna be using that you can work out to make it easier to do a handstand push-up. So I hope y'all ready. Okay, step one, what I'm gonna tell you is that I'm gonna recommend that you try it on the grass rather than on the concrete. Because what you're going to do a lot at the beginning when trying to learn a handstand push-up is you're going to fall forward or fall backwards. You might fall on your back. So you want to make sure that you have a soft landing pad for whenever you do fall. Okay, and another reason is when you're doing a handstand push-up, you want to use your fingers a lot to help control your balance. So in the grass, it's a lot easier for you to grip controlling that balance rather than being on the concrete when there's really not much to grip. Okay, so what we're going to do first is I'm gonna show you how I recommend people learning how to do it and instead of jumping into a handstand like some people do and I'll show you how how that is but uh, some people like to jump into a handstand and that will kinda of just throw you off balance but if you start out in a uh, frog sit position and work your way up into a handstand I find that a lot easier now let me show you what some people like to do and and I'll tell you why it doesn't work Okay, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to talk about the first thing that you need to learn to do, and that's going into the handstand, okay? Now, there's two ways you can do it. There's a frog sit position that you can do, and there's also just jumping into a handstand. And I definitely recommend the frog sit and not jumping into it, and I'll show you why and what it looks like when most people try to jump into a handstand. This is what it looks like. You fall over, okay? The reason you fall over is because you have too much momentum that you're throwing into that and it's causing you to get off balance. Now, when you go into a frog sit, which I'm going to show you in a second, it, it takes a little bit more strength to do it, but it also helps you out with your balance a whole lot more than just jumping into it and keep falling over. And what a frog sit is, is just like this. And you can see there, I had more control over it rather than just jumping into it, okay? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna break down the frog sit for you so you have more of an understanding on how to do that, okay? And what it looks like, both hands are gonna be just outside your shoulders. You're gonna lean forward and your knees are gonna be pressed up against the upper part of your elbows, okay? And it looks just like this. Okay. All your weight is going to be moved forward and you're going to catch it. You're going to find your balance when doing this, okay? And what you're going to be using, you're going to be using a lot of shoulders, okay? That's one of the main things that you're going to be using. And I'll show you what that looks like from the front. Okay. It's a little tough at first, but uh, once you get used to it, it becomes a little bit easier and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, when practicing the frog sit and you're going up into it like that, you wanna make sure you do that in sets, okay? You wanna make sure you get comfortable doing it. Don't jump into it and, and go into the frog sit and immediately try to go into a handstand if you can barely do a frog sit, okay? Go step by step and work your way up, okay? Don't try to jump steps because you think you might be able to get the handstand. Get comfortable with the frog sit, you know? Get your, uh, get your muscles comfortable with it and get them used to it and then go into the handstand, okay? And I'm gonna show you what's next. After the frog sit, you're gonna go bring your body legs up and you're gonna come into a handstand. Now there's two main muscles that you're gonna have to use when going into a handstand, okay? You're gonna be using your core and you're also gonna be using your butt. And what I'm gonna tell you why, you, why you're gonna be using those is because when you, when you go up into a handstand and you feel yourself falling that way, you're going to tighten your core up and it's going to bring you back this way, okay? That's when your core muscles come into play. When you start falling too much this way, you're going to tighten your butt up and it's going to bring you back that way, okay? And that's how you find your center balance by using both of those muscles. Well, let me show you. Doing the frog sit.
okay? I felt myself falling that way when I first went up into it. So what I had to do is I had to tighten my butt to bring me back this way, okay? A handstand requires you to use a lot of different muscles that you usually don't use, okay? Especially your, your butt, okay? And that helps you find the balance because you got one muscle this way and, you got, and you're using one muscle this way. That way if you use them both, it's like a teeter-totter, you're gonna find that balance in between and find that center, center balance, center gravity, okay? And that's what you wanna find. Okay, now you've gotten comfortable being in the frog sit position and going up into a handstand and you're comfortable with holding it. You can hold it for a while and now you wanna move on to the next thing. You wanna come down into the handstand push-up, okay? And this is where it gets tough because this is where you really have to use your balance. And what I recommend doing is finding a wall just like this one or maybe having a partner hold your legs and when you come down into the push-up have your legs leaned up against the wall one or two legs whichever one you prefer two obviously making it easier one making it harder and you're going to come down with legs up against the wall and you're going to do sets up and down up and down until you get your shoulders strong enough to be able to get comfortable without using the wall so let me show you what you're going to do just like that, okay? You wanna make sure that you're building the strength in your shoulders and in your core to get that, to be able to become easy for you to go up and down into a push-up, okay? Because it's extremely tough and it takes people a long time to get this without the wall, okay? Even with the wall, you'll find if you're a beginner that this is gonna be really hard and it's gonna take you some time to get to, do, to, get to learn how to do it. So just be patient with it, okay? All right, everybody. We're at the last and final step of the handstand push-up. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you put everything in play that you've already learned, okay? You wanna make sure that you're comfortable with the, the frog sit position by just holding it. You wanna make sure that you're comfortable with holding the frog sit position and then pushing up into a handstand and holding it, okay? You wanna be very comfortable holding the handstand because you wanna to, to make sure that you found your balance, okay? And then you want to make sure that you're comfortable with doing handstand push-ups against the wall or with a partner, okay? You want to make sure you're doing a lot of sets in doing those, okay? Because you got to build an extreme amount of strength to do a handstand push-up without the wall or without a partner. So make sure you're doing a lot of sets and you're very comfortable with that, okay? And what we're going to do last is the actual handstand push-up, no wall, no partner, just by yourself, okay? This takes extreme amount of strength to do it and a lot of balance, okay? So you want to make sure that you're using your core and also using your butt. You want to make sure that you're using your fingertips to grip the ground and also your shoulders. There's a lot of muscles that you're going to be using and you got to concentrate while you're doing this, okay? You, you can't forget any step because you forget a step, you're probably going to fall over, okay? So just make sure that everything that we've learned, you're going to put into play, okay? I'm going to show you what that looks like. All right, everybody, that was the tutorial right there. That was a handstand push-up. I hope all this information that I gave you helped you out a lot, okay? This is how I've learned it. You might know somebody else who's showed you differently, or you might see another video that showed you differently. But this is how I learned it, and it's always worked for me, okay? And you gotta make sure that you have a lot of discipline when learning this move. This is an extreme move in calisthenics, okay? This is not a beginner move. So this takes a lot of discipline when learning this, okay? calisthenics takes a lot of discipline when doing these things because what you're gonna find out is a lot of these moves are extremely tough okay and you're gonna to want to quit and you're gonna to want to give up or you're gonna to want to go back to doing what was easy for you but if you do that you'll never learn 
new things, okay? I'm doing things that I never thought that I, my body would be able to do, but my body's adapted and it's changed, and it's now able to do things that I didn't think were possible for me, okay? And that's all because I didn't give up. I, I practice. Anybody can do anything. It just takes practice. That's what I try to tell everybody. It's just practice, practice, practice. So make sure you don't ever forget that, and make sure that you subscribe. I got videos and tutorials that come out every week. Find me on Facebook, Corey Hall. And uh, I hope you write me a comment. Let you, let me know what you think about this. Um, if you have any questions, just write me a message. Thanks.